Hi there, beautiful, wonderful souls. Hi, how are you all doing? Uh, my name is fucking Matt, Captain Crail. Apparently I'm doing socials early, which I didn't mean to do. This is Adam. This is episode seven? Yes. <laughs> this is episode seven of the Adamless is our little stuff finder game. Thank you so much for coming along. This is all pre-recorded. If you're writing stuff in chat and you're saying, hey gamers, what about this? We will be also in chat. However, we won't be responding in this space because uh, this is all pre-recorded. So, so as well. Um, we're going to be doing some little socials and we're going to get right into it. Okie dokes. I already started socials, so I'm going to finish it, actually. It'll be fun. Um, hi there, gamers. My name's Matt, Captain Crail. I'm... If you type in Captain Crail on a form of social media, I'm pretty sure I'm going to pop up at some point during your search. Uh, I do streaming. Fucking... Uh, Monday to Thursday, we play games, we goof. Thursdays is our productivity stream, unless I get distracted. Uh, and do something else, which I do do quite often. Thursday is a sexy little free-for-all wild day. Uh, I DM here, which I hope you know because I'm on here right now. And yeah, I think that's it, actually. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, I've got to... Someone catch the vibe. It's a... It's air. <laughs> it's air now. Andre, was that you catching it? or were You, you just catching like, it like whoa. a solid object? Slightly. Oh, what? <laughs> I, I I will suck in the vibe. Uh, nice. Good I show. am <laughs> Dylan or Super Dylan everywhere on the internet. Uh, that's Sam, right here. He's a beautiful uh, little dog. <laughs> uh, and I play Ig on this here show, which is my favorite thing. I also stream at Super Dylan on Twitch. I play. Uh, things there. I play Dragon Age mostly. And then sometimes yeah. Dating Sims. Uh, and you should do that. I also don't know if this is probably still not happening, but something might be. You should watch stuff on Total Party Kiss, because I will be there in some <laughs> capacity at some point. <laughs> Us pre-recording uh, <laughs> this honestly makes me have to cut out so much shit, because when it comes to it, it's like, actually, that's not happening. Cut that that's out. That's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> Um, Unicorn's long gone at this point. Yeah, <laughs> but something else may be there in its place. Uh, and um, yeah, you could buy my games if you want. You should do that. If you go to superdillon.com, you'll see all of them right there. They're really very good. That's it. And I will zip, zap, zop uh, the vibe. I'm, I'm glad we have all caught on that we do we are a GCSE drama class here. <laughs> we are, we are a just, secondary school I'm drama. Just, mm, mm, just, I'll hold on to that for a second. Thanks. Hey everybody. My name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Vera Art on Twitter. And maybe in your local woods. Um <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Uh, That's where I found them. You can also <laughs> find me on Total Party Kiss on Sundays, playing Kajimir on uh, Tragedy Theologian. You can find me probably doing things with other things with Total Party Kiss in the future. Unicorn Hunt is done at this point, empirically. Um, you should go back and watch that. Uh, and you can also find me on the Adamless. Which you're already watching. Which is right here. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's weird. That was a weird thing to me to do. Uh, <laughs> I'm Nordina Lee. Uh, I'm a naturally occurring non-renewable resource. Um, yeah. <laughs> I play games. I, I write for games. I consult for games. I stream games sometimes. Um, the, the many things you can find me in. I, I'm just gonna list a couple. Uh, Demos Academy, Kickstarter's probably over by now, but you know what? Probably the backer kit's out, knowing my friends, so Ooh. check that out. Because uh, Amanda and uh, Banana and Austin worked very hard on it, and so did we as, as the other writers. Um, Into the Motherlands. 
Backer kit's probably not out yet, just yet, because we're, if the schedule's right, you know, into like the second round of edits, um, to make sure that the game is as good as possible. Don't quote me on that. So, um, <laughs> on on the edits, not that the game is going to be as good as possible. That's the whole thing. Yes. Um, but check that out. Um, and you can also find me on the Oops podcast, uh, a Fear Itself podcast, <gasps> with some of my best buds, Danny, Wally, Finn, Bree, Gnome, all of us playing, I don't know, Teenage Dirtbags. It's going to be great. But by now, an episode's probably, like, one episode's probably out. But I don't know that yet. So, <laughs> I live in the past. <laughs> cool, that's it for me. Love that now. shit. Oh, my pronouns are he, him, and I play Zom, whose pronouns are also he, him. Great. Now we're done. Let's nice. just finger gun it over to Momo. I'm sleepy. Hello, I'm Momo O'Brien. <laughs> I make content about immersive experiences. I can say with complete confidence that by the time this is out, I'll have a video about the Moonshine Saloon, which was an immersive cocktail experience in London featuring our lovely DM. He's in it too, and I get, like, embarrassingly sloshed, so if you know, wanna laugh at a woman for about a half an hour, maybe go check it out. Why would you say it like that? <laughs> you gotta laugh at a woman. <laughs> at a woman. I'm a woman like, and I could be laughed at. <laughs> like you're in the stocks and we're gonna go throw tomatoes at you. <laughs> go and laugh at a woman. What, I hate to tell you, my man, that's what content creation is most of the time. Uh, oh. I'm gonna pillory over the stocks. Yeah. I think that's a personal preference. <laughs> anyway, you were true. saying? Beautiful. Is that your socials? Love that shit. It's, nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. gamers. Would we like to shoot some stars? Find some Take stars. Me to space. Take me to space. Take me to space. What was that, Andre? Commission Andre. <laughs> oh, Commission Andre. Andre. Commission Andre. Check, follow Andre on Twitter. Check, see if the commissions are open. Yeah, and then, that's the thing to say. and then commission. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. I'm a professional artist. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're here to back you right, up. Right, social. <laughs> At Matthew Eckberg on Twitter, Captain Krail everywhere That's else. Me. Yeah. At Super Dylan literally everywhere. At Andre Rivera Art, because none of us said those. And at Momo. I did. I art. always said. Yeah. Well, one of us is prepared. Hey, the rest of us I... were certainly not. I don't. Did you <laughs> say at you? Werewolf? There you go. I was. Oh, I was about to throw some hands, pal. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. You got lucky this time. Yeah, oh, this time you lucked out. Take me to space. I want to look at that. Okay, are we ready to go to Space Gamers? Yeah. What's up with your face? Do you not like my little rendition? <laughs> Previously on The Adamless. Azan, he. Ike. She. Uh, my name is Theoriac. What's up? My name's Sky. Welcome to the patchwork, my dudes. Welcome to the lower decks. There is a race going on. There's big money involved. Money that we need. Hive. It's been a long time, old friend. I've worked for Void for way before I met you. I cannot go back to my family and force myself into their lives. Like, like, like it's the same. It's not the same, and I can't be who they want me to be anymore. More research regarding the crystal. And you find data. Like someone has imprinted this thing with a almost a message. At the finish line, there's a check. If you're not part of Void, your engine goes up. Sky, I'm sorry, there's gonna be a bomb. I know, the classic finish line bomb. It's gonna be so great. You fall from the car and I is like, like flies off. Keep going, I. Stay your business. Can I just shoot one of them? There are two lawman cars almost lying in wait. I bring my goggles up and say, what's up, fuckers? <laughs> <laughs> like to speed off the mechanical device dims as it has been deactivated i'm going to about face turn to the last two and, and basically motion come here i uh, stick out her middle finger and then gun it you just make it through past the finish line before anyone else hive hive i need your help
Azam, your skin hisses at the cold water that pounds on your skin as you sprint through the streets of Saga. Sky is no longer in sight. The lawmen you can see with searchlights flying just above the smog, um, searching through these streets. Big loudspeakers talk about there is a fugitive on the loose. Any information you have, come to the lawman and we'll give you a reward. You've been running for a little bit. Not so much that you're out of breath, but enough that there is a fog behind you and in front as you could easily get back to Eigen Theriac, but it would still take you a few minutes. I would like to attempt something. Okay. <clears throat> so I have this expertise talent as an envoy, um, likely to be right here. I can use subtle clues to anticipate the location of a creature. While I'm aware of a creature's presence, can I use my sense motive bonus to attempt perception checks to search for that creature? Oh. Mm. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um... So does this can you read the explanation of that of that rule set out to me again, please? Yes. Likely to be right here for sense motive. So as long as I have sense motive selected as an expertise thing, I could take the expertise talent that relates to it. I can use subtle cues to anticipate the location of a creature. While I'm aware of a creature's presence, I can use my sense motive bonus to attempt perception checks to search for that creature. Alternatively, I can forego my expertise die to use my sense motive bonus to attempt perception checks to search an area. Embry and non-Embry characters can select these options if they have the flesh-bound mask or mask to... I feel like that bit doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, brilliant. Roll me a sense motive. I would love to. I guess this isn't searching an area, so I get to keep my um, sense motive... Uh, my... Uh, expertise die, which right now is a d6. <laughs> I rolled a 6 on that die. 26. This is okay. one of the things I'm very good at. I'm sorry. Although the location, Sky is far quicker than you right now. Mm -hmm. uh, she got away on her hoverboard, which is literally built for speed. She... Um, you saw a tiny bit in the race. She was keeping up with vehicles, full, like, four-wheeled trucks, cars, bikes. Um, just her and her little hoverboard that she has built from scratch was zooming along even quicker. She was able to outpace these things. But there are hints. Small ones, but still some hints of her presence. There are slight, at best, light fractures of this neon pink uh, contrail that comes off of it as she zooms through the streets. On rooftops, you can see that there are parts which are disturbed from things that couldn't be anything but a... a... a scrappy 17 year old on a on a on a hoverboard rails that have been grinded on uh tiles that have slightly fallen off there's also what you notice in the sky which are like higher concentration of these lawmen uh in a set area which help you in this search you you have you have hints and clues that you can follow if that was a thing that you wanted to do mm -hmm. you don't know where she is or how far away but there are like it's been about 20 to 25 minutes since sky took off and then you started chasing after her knowing her speed she might be long gone but you can decide to start following if you wanted <clears throat> Is there a vehicle around that I could maybe boost? Oh, absolutely. If you wanted, yeah. 
There are... The current street that you're on has two or three skyscrapers at either side, but they have been fully converted into flats that people are now living in. They used to be office buildings, but since everyone moved upstairs, people just decided to move in since they were essentially abandoned. There is a car park that used to house all three of these... Uh, of, of of the vehicles used for these office buildings and are now, what you can assume, mostly already boosted cars. Or maybe there are some that people have scrapped and saved and, you know, bought properly. Some people might have even built their cars because they just couldn't afford it. But there's there's some cars in, in a car park. I look for the... The dustiest one, the one that looks like it hasn't been used in a long while, if possible, and I boost that one. Or at least attempt to. I don't know if I'll succeed or not. I'm gonna get my dice out. I'm gonna get my dice. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little little see if uh Like how 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 good the 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 like how dusty a certain car is. The higher the more the higher I roll on this, the more dusty. Um, <laughs> if I roll it, if I roll a crit fail, every car there has been used quite recently. Okay. It doesn't take you long to spot a car which is slightly unlike the others. It has clearly not seen love in 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 a, in a long time no use no nobody's been even sleeping in it it's ram shackled chipped green paint broken headlight the back window's been smashed in everything kind of useful has been grabbed from it one of the wheels has been lifted out but it is probably still usable if the gas works if the energy still allows it to be powered remember that all basically all cars in the lower decks are at, uh, analog cars mm -hmm. um if you're like super lucky or wealthy you get a hover thing so you can get out but not a lot of people do um a lot of these work off of either electricity or, um, you know, a, a hybrid. And you can assume this is a hybrid. Excellent. That'll... It just needs to get me from place A to place B in a reasonable amount of time, so it's fine. What do I need to do to, to grab it and go? You can... I mean, you need to hotwire it, and you can make a engineering. I'm going to say it's... Now, if you if you disagree with me, you disagree with me, and we can we can discuss this. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like Azam hasn't boosted a lot of cars, especially not analog, older vehicles. No, not exactly. The concept's the same, right? He's boosted spaceships, um, business mm -hmm. vehicles, mostly hover vehicles in that case. And one, um, and one four-wheeled cart. That too. That that's not an engineering check. Oh yeah, one four-wheeled cart. That is true. Okay, I'm gonna give you this. You would know how to. You've just not done it before. Spaceships, spacecraft, hover cars—they all work on a more electronic interface when hacking in. Um, mm -hmm. These analog work on wires, and it's more like in the the car. You know how to do it. You know how to like uh, cut wires and 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 split the coppers and like spark it. Um, but you're not. You've not personally boosted a car like this before. But you could. You could. So you can do an engineering if you'd like. I rolled a 22. <laughs> okay. It takes some time. 
it's it's a it's an old car. Fucking. It's I can't. Curious... I can't. I can't. I see because I was going to say a Honda Civic, and I can't imagine we can say Honda Civic. So, a Ponda Brivic is this the future version of this? Uh, <laughs> so we can get around copyright. Um, it's an old car. Uh, it like it's you 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 like hit it a few times. You like you break in the 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 side window manage to to just like get the door off it's rusted and takes a few pulls but you manage to and then it takes a little longer to close you're like sparking and you can see that the that the wires are sparking and it like <laughs> and 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 then dies and then <laughs> and then dies again but after a little while about 5 minutes of tinkering you get it that it <laughs> and then and then lights up Lights flicker on. One of them does. The other one is broken. There's a small interface. It says the year is like 10 years out of date. Car is younger than I am. Uh, <laughs> I get in and I uh, quickly like um, dictate a message to Theriac and Aig that I'm looking for Sky and might be a while. And then I head off. You reverse out and drive onto the uh, busy, neoned streets of the lower decks. As I and Theriac, as you stand at the finish line of this so-called death race people are some people are, are slow to finish the 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 suddenness of the race has calmed down quite a lot there was a one of the people that finished uh just behind you turned immediately back round and drove back down the smog road sending out a signal to other cars that the race is done and there's no point anymore and there was a lot you you could hear some cars like a lot of cars like speeding up slowing down pulling off to the side and going down small alleyways there is a truck which was holding void members who after you passed stopped turned the car off and have been eyeing you as Azam ran off, and the two of you meet in the same place. The two people who fought Theriac earlier um, have come back after some time, and they waited out the the adrenaline of of a of the combat that that happened, and they they give. Theoric, they give you like a wide berth as they walk back through the uh, the 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 behind the alleyway of the sky skyscraper and walk to their friend who has is has stopped moving and one of them kneels slightly closer to them and 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 checks a pulse and kind of whispers something to themselves and then they both like pick them up and and drag them to a less directly in the middle of the square area. Because although people die in the lower decks all the time, just keeping a body in the square is not a thing which is really done. The people who are watching you, there's one in particular, a bigger vesk. They have... Um, they're like this huge lizard form... Um, they look kind of like a chameleon, these big bug eyes with, with a a streak of red, almost like an imitation mohawk that goes down them and, and down their back. Um, their eyes, one of them seems to be trying to spot everywhere and the other one is staring directly at the pair of you as they watch silently and their friends whisper and talk behind them.
Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> do where? Where do we get the money? I think Sky knew that. I'm not sure, and people are looking. They certainly, they, they certainly are. Um. Do you need to maybe I go? I should not be here. Why don't you? Do you remember the way? Um. You could hide either back at um. Uh, where we oh oh you could go to my apartment if you wanted it would be safe there certainly uh, sh sure sure i i could stay there until okay. all this blows over if um, you see sky um let her know i thought we won are you, actually, is, do you think going alone is a good idea? I think um, it, it might be uh, for the best, probably. <laughs> I, I, I trust, I trust your judgment. <laughs> We okay. If it, if it turns out true. Mm. Um. Okay, and uh, I will start to. Uh, uh, can I? Can I try to to just like decipher who is a person that I should be talking to right now? Like a, a person who's got something to do with money and this race. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. Give me a... You can give me just a basic intelligence. I don't think there's any... Like, it doesn't feel like a sense motive to me since you're not trying to sense the motive of anyone. You're just trying to, like, understand a piece of information. Which, sure. Um, the, the DC will be pretty low since you have like over the the past week when you were setting up for the race you probably learnt where things sure. are from and all that jazz but yeah is 14 gonna yeah. be okay yeah that, that'll okay. be perfect yeah that'll work um the two organizers of this race or and 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 races of previous years are mm -hmm. two uh, two members, one called uh, Track and one called School. You know that School is the 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 like owner of the race and the one who would probably be the person you need to speak to in terms of getting the money. Track would probably be the person that you would speak to for race events and learning how to get the money. So track would be the person that you're that you're trying to find and the race the race has did finish uh about about half an hour ago. So with the with the cars that are clearing out you do see that the street is is has this like big flood of light as someone uh pulls up pulls around the corner in a think slightly futuristic like muscle wagon um they they pull around the corner and 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 you you've seen track before because they did the three, two, one on the race? They did the opening. They are a. They kind of they look like a, a they they they're 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 an they're a cyborg more than they are an android as they mm. are mostly 
robotic parts but do have like some organic human features they have a real mohawk and then on a on another side of their uh, head they have like a metal plating of a mohawk uh like a faux one pretending they're wearing this like classic biker jacket vest with patches on and some like minor spikes and they uh pull as they as they they pull around they park up next to this chameleon vest and they open up the car look at them and then this vest stops looking at you looks toward track and gives like a a unwording acknowledgement of what's happening and then nods over to you um and and track just kind of looks back at them as they kind of are trying to understand the situation i'll walk over hey so you're the winner is that true that's right wasn't well wasn't anything uh hey it wins the win that's good this is a difficult race congratulations um uh you've done yeah you did well today i i think that that's uh yeah that's that's real good hey you beat some of the best races that all of the lower decks have that's that's real good congratulations thank you so So for the money, for the credits, uh, that's right. You you notice it's not difficult to see the look that as soon as they say so the money, they look over to this chameleon who who looks back and they give like a a little uh, look to one another. Um, so you're going to be meeting up with school who gives the, uh, they're gonna, you're gonna be getting the money from them. Okay, not, not from you. No, 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 you'll be meeting up with school. Uh, I organ, I, I set up the race, school handles all the money stuff. Uh, uh, you'll find them at, um, you'll find them at, at Weymouth School for the young and gifted. There, they kind of run the joint and you'll, You'll you'll find them there. They're on the upper decks. Uh, yeah, so that's 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 where you find them. They 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 pull out a um. They they pull out like a a a small thin piece of glass, which is kind of a, like a new updated phone that you'd know. And they, uh, have you got a number that I could have? Or just like I tell you what, if you got if you if you got a phone, I can I'll just send you the address. Um, what's the address? Do you just tell it to me? I'll plug it in. It's Waymore, Waymouth, Waymouth's school for the young and gifted. There, that was easy enough. Thank you. Um, well, lovely race you, you've all put on. You have a top-notch day. I'll, um... Catch the next one. Yep. From uh, hey, good luck. Um, you did real well. Uh, not many people could beat this race. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. So, congratulations. Thanks. Running. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this this conversation did not take as long as I thought. I'm gonna try to catch back up with Theria. Yeah, they they turn back to this this vesk and and they just start talking and you run a run out of earshot and you run up back up to Theria. Just keep keep moving, keep moving, uh, oh, okay. keep going. Oh, right. Just continue walking. Are we? Uh, is the plan still in motion? Um, there's a um a place to pick up the money. Way more at school for the young and gifted, and it's up top. 
Oh. So we were headed that direction anyway? Apparently. I... We might be getting a little bit of a runaround, but I didn't feel like I was in a good position to start arguing. Uh, it's probably best you didn't put up a fight. Uh, I probably would have... Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, no, they, we're going to go to this school. Uh, there's a guy named School, and that's who's going to give us the credits that we earned His name in is, this race. His school? Apparently. What, what was the thing? Did, did Azan say that the, the reason behind their names was that's where they had the first murder yep oh I uh... you don't have to come in to the actual school with me you know what I think that's yeah I no think that's probably the best you I just we're gonna go up back to um you know what the I'm um, I think I might just go back to the patchwork. Of course, yeah. Yeah, well, there's you... no need for me to go back up. You you go back to Unless, the patchwork? Do you, would you like me to be there in case things go sideways? I... I don't want you to put yourself into any extra risk but this does make me a, a touch nervous if you want me there I will be there if you, if you need a voice or just someone to just be there as support or Whatever, whatever you need, I, I. Theriac, please come with me. All right, all right. Now, we don't have to, don't have to tell me twice. All right. Okay. Well, walk with him. As you leave the main square to, are you going to your normal, um, your normal place of like your normal like sneak route, or are you trying to? Are you trying to like? I do, go into more of a main? especially traveling with the Iriac, I want as few people to see you where we're going as as possible. Great. Um, as you as you go to your normal route a spotlight and hovering lawman over you. And we follow the lawman through the, down the smog road and through the streets as the searchlight flicks through a window of a well-used but still quite shabby house. A noise uh, of two people ducking furiously out the way as you, Sky, and Hive both duck behind a table. Uh, just a casual dining room table that has some minor bits and bobs on it. Uh, he flicks the moth-ridden curtains shut and even though they're good at obscuring you, some of the light still peeks through some of the holes and they wait as the noise of a vehicle sounds overhead and flies off into the distance okay fuck I feel like it uh, they're probably getting bored maybe moving on hopefully uh. is there a back entrance I can Sneak out of, yeah. Get into the night, never be seen again. Hopefully. Yeah. No. We'll uh, 
We got something for you. Right. Okay. Do you know Jajon's? Oh, yeah, the, the hot dog place? Yeah. Ace dog? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm going to need you to go to Jajon's, go to the counter, and ask for a hot dog beer. Like hot a dog like beer? Yeah. Are they going to let me do that? I don't have, like, ID or anything. No, 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 no. Trust me. It's, it's, it's a thing that... Jajon's is a good place. I, I... I know a few people that have used a John's to, like, hide out before. If you just go up to the front desk, you ask for a hot dog beer. Not a hot dog in a beer. That is a thing they have on the menu. But a hot dog beer, okay. you'll be fine. You go there and, and wait and they can... You just need to pay... Have you got any money on you? Any credits? Cred stick? I think so. <laughs> Pretty sure I do, yeah. I'm just uh, so frazzled from no, being no. <laughs> chased by the, the lawman. I get it. It's all right. Hey, yeah, you need... I got, yeah, I got like 765 credits on Perfect. Me right now. Uh, yeah, you only need 100, and they'll hide you out for a little bit, and then they'll get a car and hide you and take you to where you need to go. Do you know where you're trying to go? Uh, Do you have like a meeting uh, point? I mean, I'm, I guess I'm trying to get back to the patch work. Okay. Great, yeah. Wait, let me... Wait! Why didn't I think about doing this before? I'm gonna take out my phone, and I'm gonna, like, do we have a group chat? We have a group chat. I can make us a group chat. You can start a group yeah. chat, yeah, I'm absolutely. text the group... Yeah, I'm gonna start... I'm gonna start a group chat. I'm gonna text the group chat. He's like, hey, I'm okay. Smiley face emoji. Uh, I'm just gonna go hide out at Jajon's for a while. Want me to pick anything up? <laughs> And I'm gonna put my phone away. I'm gonna put my gas mask on and my goggles, and I'm gonna head towards the back door. Yeah. Um. I'll say thanks, Hive. I owe you two now. Nah, you're all good. You're lucky I was here. I'm not normally here at this time, but I guess. I don't know. Fate aligned or whatever. Yeah. It's fine. Hopefully I'm, that happens a lot more. I'm glad to see you're okay and not dead. I'm glad that Scrap's Yet. okay and not dead. Yet. Yet, of course. Right. Okay. Sky. Have you got a weapon on you? Yeah, I got okay. I got my bow staff. Um What's the plan? I can't imagine attacking a lawman. I is... don't. It will be a bad idea. I don't want to add idea. anything else to my resume. I just want to get off planet. Okay, sure. That's a good idea. Yeah, but just in case things happen. Uh, what's the plan? I never have one. Right now, for when you leave the back door, what are we doing? Uh oh, we're going to Jajon's. Yep. And. Uh, asking for a hot dog beer. Not a hot dog in a beer, which is a thing on the menu, but a hot dog hot beer. Hot dog beer. Perfect. All right. It's going to cost 100 credits. 100 credits. You're good right. aside ace from that, though? You don't quiz. need anything? You ace the pop quiz. Flying colors. Uh, I mean, I need a lot of things, but I think I'm going to leave that up to fate and not you. That's fair. Okay. I, uh, you don't need to text me Take when you... Take care of yourself. You too. Right. See you later, Superstar. And then he gonna <clears throat> hold out like a little fist to bump. Uh, and then as soon as you, like, bump the fist, door opens, and he, like, ushers you out. Speed off towards Jajan's. You rush under the cover of night. Are you using your hoverboard to get around? Using my hoverboard and I also got my gas mask on which, um, you know, <laughs> I don't know if narratively it makes a lot of sense, but I have a little feat that's like you're indistinguishable in, when you're wearing a mask. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. I might be like harder to spot. Yeah, cool. Um, speaking of as you're like rushing through, because you're using your hoverboard, um, you will only need to make, like, one check, and it'll be a... 
Let's have this be a reflex, like kind of like a dexterity speed type thing. Um, yeah, that's saving throw. Because of the mask, it will be lower because you're sp uh, just because like you have like a bright pink neon hoverboard, which is like has like a contrail out the back of it of like light, which can be quite noticeable. But also the speed that you're going, the mask that you have, which is covering you, it yeah. Uh, the curse continues. I rolled a four, so it's a seven in total. You. Good thing I texted the group chat. You zoom through the streets. Azam, can you make me a sense motive check? That last one that you need for the to to make sure that you could catching up with people. I apologize. I meant to come back to you earlier. That <clears throat> is an uh, is an irrational twenty as opposed to a rational twenty. Okay. Um, dirty twenty. <clears throat> Beautiful. Um, Sky, you're racing through the the streets. You're going at a speed that like most cars can't reach. But because of this and the like built-in flashiness of your board. You hear a, a above you as a, a a lawman car flies over, and the spotlight just like hits the tip of you, and then immediately locks on and spots you. And then there's this huge blast of sirens as uh, this one lawman car alerts all of the others around. Um, okay, Obama. Azam, you are driving a few streets away but you hear this and hearing this makes you immediately understand what is going on um these lawmen start like they turn quick and they start lowering uh lowering down to come grab you sky sky what are you gonna do uh, i'm gonna just gotta speed away you're just fucking cheesing it um ah! Hell yeah. No, let's fucking go. Let's fucking cheese it. You, you said specifically my board could go faster than any car. I hope your board could go faster than ones. most cars. It can't go... It prob like it ah. will probably be able to keep up with if not get outrun by Lawman. Um, but yes, absolutely. One sec as I check the skills that you can do to see... Actually, I tell you what. I'll leave this up to you. Instead of looking crap, at the skills crap, myself. Crap, 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 crap. Um, yours <laughs> flying off. I'm going to have you make a skill check. Just argue me a skill of how you're going to get away from this situation. What are you going to do? Jujons is like, you know where it is, and you can get there pretty fast. Um, uh, I'm in, in my mind, she's like going through alleyways and grinding down rails and like going through crowded areas and dodging people. So I'm going to say acrobatics. Mm. That makes sense. I love that. That's, very good, actually, yeah. Um, 16. <laughs> hell yeah. I was literally just about to say DC is going to be about 15 for that. That rules you. Oh. Vroom, vroom, flying on. You. Uh, there is a very narrow alleyway that you spot. There, are, There's a, a couple walking out uh, of this alleyway. It's from, it's, It goes down to like a gravel park with some like community built... Uh, like it's a it's a community built park it has like some some play things in it which aren't like super up to code but they're pretty well built um you've spent like some time there as these this couple walks out you like hit the the wall and do like a full like grind on the wall around this couple knowing that the lawman can't get into this area as as the 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 actual alleyway is way too thin you then grind down the rail into the park shoot out the other end and Jajons is like right in front of you. The lawmen are still hot on your tail, but you have like a few seconds. I run straight into the Jajons. I book it to the counter. I slap my hands down and I say, I would like a hot dog beer stat. Um, this bartender who's like this large slug with these multiple mouths is like, Whoa, okay, I understand. If you'd like to take that booth over there, we'll get you your order immediately, Mom. Thank you so much. I go 
to the booth? Um, you go to the booth. A few seconds pass. You sit down. Swear to God, Hive, if you do me dirty. <laughs> In, can I ask if I could do a thing? Absolutely. What would you like to do? Well, I'm hot in pursuit. I know roughly where Sky's going now, even if I haven't checked my phone. And I know how lawmen tend to interact almost anywhere. Can I use tactician to head them off? To basically create a massive distraction? Head them off? Slow them down? Anything? Ooh. Um, yes, you can. The DC is going to be quite high. Uh, Worth it. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, DC is going to be pretty high. Because they do have, like, an idea and a sight line on Sky. So unless your diversion is ramming into a lawman car, it's going to... It, like, they are... A lot of them are going to, like, know where to go. You also know that they're probably communicating. But, you, but yes, you can definitely give it a go. And I will That's... reward the role. Absolutely. All right. Let's, uh, let's hope things go well for, for us, shall we? Yeah. Well, on the plus side, it did not crit fail. <laughs> that is good. That's good. On the negative side, I still ruled a two, so that makes it a nine. What What is Azam trying to do? What is the distraction <clears throat> that, that he thinks is good enough, will be good enough to distract these people? Hopefully drive right in front of the lawman vehicles. Put something behind, um, in front of the accelerator pad and jump out. So it just hits against a wall and explodes. The car. Without him in it. That's important. The idea is just create a gigantic cool. explosion distraction. I will remind you that you did fail this role quite spectacularly. And you have given me this. Yes. So I am going to take it. <clears throat> I know. It's fine. Everything's fine. You I'm speed the down phone. the... Uh, you, you, you speed around the corner... Prof like Italian job esque professional style Tokyo drift, you fucking put it into, uh, you like put the handbrake down and manage to like get to your on the street where Jajon's is. You don't spot Sky going in, but no, but knowing what to look out for, you can see just like a tiny bit of of neon pink contrail, so you know that she's in there. A car raises above the roof of a park which is uh, this this gravel community built park which is just across the street from Dijon's and it flies down also spotting this place where Sky is you put it into full uh, like full speed immediate acceleration and as this lawman car flies down you meet it at essentially the same point you open the door to jump out, but the door is so rusted that you're not quite able to get it fully open by the time the lawman car comes down and you meet. Can you roll me a reflex check? Just real quick. Cool. Two. 23. Now you work. Nice. As the car comes down, you cannot get the door open. It is fully, like, almost rusted shut at this point. The, like, the warmth that the car has been making has seeming to, like, heat the metal. Like, as in, like, you know, it's heated, so it's, like, expanded slightly. And the door is... Maybe it's just the way that you shut it. And my science doesn't actually make sense, because I've just clocked the science, not my oxygen sinks. Um... The way that you shut it just means that the door qu can't quite get open in the same way. You and the lawman car meet at the same point. It smashes into the front of the car that you have uh, taken. The car spins out and does slam into the wall. Uh, you spin out, take... That's 20 damage straight as the car boof into you. 
Is it fire damage, considering this is an explosion thing? It's not. It is bludgeoning at this point. Damn it. Okay. Um, are we still up? Um, we're, we're digging into health now, but yeah, we're up. Oh, There's no. this huge boosh as the car is boosh and you're rocked as the car slams into the wall after spinning a few times. Um, rocks up, like touches a back alley wall and then boosh, rests again. The Lawman car is also a little wrecked. They are not nearly as, as, as bad off as you as they hit front on and this is an old car. But they are still, like, a little dazed. This impact seems to dent the door that you had so much that you push it open and roll out injured, but before these lawmen are up. That was the reflex save that you did. You're <laughs> able to get out of this car before you get grabbed. Uh this is gonna I suck. see any of this from the window? Uh no 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 no. No, not yet. You 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 hear it definitely. You you get in But I have no idea Zom's out there. Yeah, you get in, sit down, you hear this woo woo of sirens and then a boosh of outside as there is clearly some type of wreck. Is there any chance the law men have seen my face? No. <clears throat> Again, the reflex save is like really got you out of that. <laughs> Thank goodness. I'm going to like hold uh hold myself together and limp into limp into the hot dog restaurant. Um, no, I wanted to delay. I wanted to delay. Ah, damn it. You can Give just duck second. behind a small alley and recoup. I want you are I I you were just in like a like you were just in a bit of a wreck. This is... You are kind of dazed at the minute. But able to get I'm, out of the car. Can I point my hands towards the cars containing the lawmen? Light them up like a Christmas tree and uh, <clears throat> fry them in their cars? Oh, shit. Yes, you can absolutely do that. You're doing your... This is the racial Overheat. ability? Yeah. Um, there's also so technically speaking I have internal heat that I use to generate this but there's also the spell specifically suggests that I collect heat generated by nearby bodies and devices so I feel like this is like a really terrifying looking thermal wave right now because <laughs> I got a lot of heat around me um, I'm going to you... point my yep. oh, no go on no 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 you go it's your move po- you describe it yeah I I, I fall out of the car, I spin around, one knee on the ground, place my hands directly forward. One second I think about it. And then the color, the the energy, the light drains from my horns and the rest of my body as it did la- the last time. My fingertips turn white hot and So I need to roll 2d8. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do the tiniest narrative thing, which I don't mm-hmm. know if it will change any, any decision. As you kneel down and you raise your hand up and you stop slightly to think about it, one of these lawmen, short, like, buzzed hair, clearly human rouses a little and looks directly at you. They are bleeding from their head. They've clearly just taken, like, quite a hit. They don't know what you're about to do, but the intent is on your face, and they can assume. You can see... You can see their eyes understand before their face does. I don't have the time to think about this, is the thing. You're welcome to. Yeah, I do it anyway. Mm. There's no need to roll for for it. You're welcome to, if you want to just see how, how much you have. Uh, how much sure. like damage you do. But um, I'm going to just say, just like narratively, your horns dim, 
your your body gets like slightly darker as as this like red hot pulse happens and you this wave of fire like bursts from you slightly stronger than it was on the Leviathan's eye. You assume it's because there was a small flickering flame happening in both the lawman's vehicle and your own as uh, this congested pointed anger bursts out of your hand and just in Gulfs the side of this car. The noise of this flame is so loud that you can barely hear the screams from inside of it. But they do die out quite quick. It only lasts for 10 seconds, but you keep going just to make sure. And the flames die. And there is a... A half... Hollowed out... Shell of a of a vehicle. And the other half still has some paint which is attempting to melt. But can't quite match the heat that was leaving you. As there is a, there is a current empty car. Well, I feel shitty now. Uh, <laughs> I... <laughs> we Stand can redo. Up. Hey, listen. I don't want to make you feel bad. I don't want to make anyone feel bad. If you want to, if you want to redo, we're happy to redo. I just want to let you no, know that you, you did burn it. Because no matter what happens, one, Azam's not a fan of cops. Mm. Two, right now the priority is making sure Sky's okay, and these people are probably not going to treat Sky okay. Probably not. So it has to be done. At least it was quick. So he'll dust himself off as he stands up. And limp. Because I have eight... Eight health now. No mm. stamina. <laughs> and limp inside... Uh, inside uh, our friendly local space dot place. I'm assuming I see a beat to shit Azam walking in. You hear... The door open. The sound of the rain from outside. There's a... There is a stage which has an open mic, which is currently going on. But as the door opens, it stops. Or, or lowers, at least. The performer, like, stutters a little. The noise of the restaurant goes down slightly. And then as they see you, it picks back up again. And people start talking normally. Sky, you do see Azam. Azam, you don't see Sky. Actually, not at first. Unless Sky makes herself known. I look a little stunned. But raise my hand up as if to say, hey, over here. Do I see that? Yep. As soon as Sky makes herself known, you can see Sky. She just she's off in a in a in a in a booth nearer the back of the of Jajon's. I like wince. I wince definitely as I pull myself into the booth. What the crap happened to you? Oh, you know, little man, it car crash. Car crash, little man. What? Right. Well, they were, they were coming after you, so I I thought great idea. Let's um, make an explosion distraction. Turns out car's old, couldn't get out in time. Ow! <clears throat> and then uh, well, finish the job. You okay? Uh, I mean, now, yeah, I'm feeling a couple of emotions. The first of which, I guess, is gratitude. Level of anger, I think, mm -hmm. because lawmen were originally just coming after me, but now they're also going to be coming after you. Which has got don't... a lot of feelings. Sky, um, I didn't leave survivors, so I don't think they saw my face. I 
as big. that oh as that as that sentence settles you hear the doors open again as they as they open you hear some like jesus fucking christs from the outside and these two lawmen step in as they do a quite large for Yoski. Yoski stands from one of the other tables and walks over and is like, Hey, no, there's... There's no... No, no lawmen today, sorry. We're not, uh, we're not doing that. And I'm like, Yeah, well, uh, we just had a pretty bad crash outside and we're looking for something. No, 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 you're not listening to me, officer. No lawmen today. You can get out. These two lawmen look around. Look over as the music that stuttered as Azam, um, you entered, has seemed to completely stop as almost everyone in the bar is looking at these two lawmen as they walked in. They take note. Yeah, you better not fucking hope that we... No, 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 no. I'll see you later, eh? Hey, you, you don't be a stranger now. And the lawmen back off and leave. As they open the door again, you can see the lights from the outside being reflected in the windows. And you can kind of hear more muttering. But after, after a short while, the lights, you can still hear them outside, but the lights switch off. The performer finishes their set quite quickly. They uh, are a human. They have darker skin. They have a small, like, um, ponytail. They they have this small guitar, and they were they were singing a, a soft, melancholic tune as you'd entered and entered whilst you were speaking. They look toward the bar and the big slug seems to give in slug a, a nod. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you. I appreciate... Uh, my name's Tohi. I, I uh, appreciate it. I'll see y'all see y'all next week. And there's a couple of murmurs and then some... Thank you. They walk around and they go over to your table. Hey, uh, yeah, no, it's nice to meet you. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Toheeb. You, I also work here. Sorry, I, I, I run drinks sometimes. You ordered the hot dog beer? Is that correct? Yeah. You, I suppose we'll be, I suppose he'll be having what I'm having, too. Uh, yeah, it's fucking weird. We, I don't know, I don't know why he sold you it, because I'm, Pretty sure we don't have it, but we might have some in the back. Uh, but the back's so big. Uh, not, Can... not, uh, not hot dog and a beer. Uh, hot dog uh, beer. Uh, the back is really Sky. big. Do you want to come help me look in the back for for some? Because there'll be some in yeah. the back. Yeah. 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 I. Oh, thank we, you so much. We, uh, this we is so. It's so. I know it's really bad service of us. I do apologize. But yeah, no. Come on. Come on in. Um, my name's uh, Tohi. It's it's nice to uh, it's it's nice to meet you. Uh, I don't need to know your names, but it's it's grand. Great, great. Hey, hey, listen, we're not okay. going to be working together, are we? But it, yeah, I'll be your server for this evening. Um, so, are you here for any occasion, or or are you just here as like a stopover for somewhere else? Just passing through. Oh, nice. Oh. Uh, passing over to to anywhere in specific, or anywhere but here. Ah, okay. Um, you see, when people kind of, you know. Normally during a uh, conversation when people say, oh, I'm just passing over to go somewhere, they normally tell me where we're going, uh, where they're going. And um, just, you know, you're just friendly conversation, isn't it? Uh, they and, uh, click. Mm, um, mm. Uh, they, 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 like, take out a, clearly a, a car key and they, and they click and there is a doot doot from outside. We Shit. have a, a, a ship to go to. Ah, yeah. I can't find any fucking hot dog beer here. That's uh, 
That's crazy. Um, oh, we're, oh, you know what I did find, though, is 100 credits in my pocket. That would get us a new crate. That's real good. Uh, yeah, Consider you... me an investor. Great. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. It's we're good in, to have you we're aboard. In, we're in the back now, right? Um, you have, you have, you, have, you yeah, you've you have, you have, you have, Whilst you're having this conversation, you walked like behind the bar, and you you walked into a a like a a cellar. Uh, it's Azan like it's says, big, and there's lots of there's just like it's it's a it's a bar cellar. Load of crates of different um uh of different different drinks and different brands. There's like some food storage as well as kegs and all that, and this leads out to what is like looks like a a, a staff garage. Azam talks to the person and says, uh, wait, we, we were in the back. Why, why are we still pretending like we're talking about actual? Oh, well, uh, uh, well, because yeah. we are. And until we get fully out of uh, earshot of everyone, it's always safer. You don't know who's listening. Uh, this hot dog beer, it's it's selling like hotcakes. And we're basically the only people who sell it. And people definitely want it. Hot. Dogs, oh, hot say. dogs. Uh-huh. I like you. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, that's good. I like that. All right. We're going to get in the car now. Is that okay with everyone? Sure thing. Um, hey, I tell you what. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling wild and generous. As we go pick this up, why don't you two sit in the back and I'll act like you're a chauffeur. Uh... Sounds great. Yep. Cool. Great. Open up the and door. I don't know how to drive, so that sounds good Hey, to that me. works. Great. Um, I only just learned myself. My, uh, yeah, my my dad wouldn't let me learn at all. Um, so I had to kind of kind of learn myself, and I'm quite new to it. I had I've just gotten my license legally. Uh, they Took they from me. lead to a a Took. small like a like a yellow buggy, um, like the brand buggy. It's it's got like the curved yellow, um, like top, and it's it's like it looks it it. It's it's well loved for a for a car. It's it's quite old, but it's it's like it's well looked after. The inside is like clean and nice. Um, they pull out uh, that they the key that they use to to like it has like a bunch of different like smaller keychains on it. Yeah, no, take a seat in the back. Hey, take it from me, kid. Driving is a very dangerous thing. <clears throat> yeah, you don't look so great. Um, they lean over to the, uh, like the glove compartment. Um, I think that's what it's called. They lean over to the glove compartment, and there's like a few, like medical, quick fix like injectors that they have. Um, you can use one of these if you'd like. It'll only fix you up a tiny bit, but it it might make you feel a little better. Uh, sure, why not? Yep. Good they, night, right? they pull one out and then hand it over to you. So, we're, we're looking for a ship, eh? Are we looking on the upper decks, or is there one down here? Oh, we're parked in... Uh, where were we parked? In the scrapyard. Scrap, in scrap the scrapyard. Yeah. Um, don't know it's oh, scrap. shit. We're friends yard. with scrap. Oh, I love that. Okay. Yeah, sure. I ain't seen the old guy in a while. Um, Wait, has it been scrap's yard? Listen to, I thought it was just scrapyard. I that mean, it sense. is. It is. Yeah. It is just the scrapyard. But uh, whenever you, uh, on like the big entrance, is like the pulled from like license plates, has been like hammered in scraps scrapyard, over the the. Um, so that must make you sky right. You know scrap. You going to scraps scrapyard? I mean, not very well. He just had a ride for me off of Saga. Acquaintances at this point. Ah, well, it's always nice to meet an acquaintance, at least. Um, right, let's get you there. They have a start the engine. A little. I want to have a little. Quiet aside, if it's just very quiet. Yeah, go for it. They like they take off and they're driving. They they like they turn you. Do you mind if I put 
some music on? Is that fine? I mean, sure. I can't imagine it'll match the mood very well, but that sounds hilarious. Yeah, sure. Uh, they they just they they play a they like Bluetooth into like their own uh, little playlist, and and there's like it there is some like it it it, it, it it's well curated, but it does flip flop between like these like softer acoustics to very loud very fast music and then like dips more into the like experimental things and yeah as they're uh driving and humming along right. uh, listen azam yeah. dude i emotionally cannot decide whether i'm glad you did what you did or I wish you hadn't have done it. So if you could just do me a solid and save me the confusion from here on out, just don't leave no survivors, especially not on my account. Do you think you can do that? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. You ran off kind of quick. Are you sure everything's okay? How did you get here? I mean, I vaguely point out the window. Well, uh, I noticed that I had a chance of winning the race if I distracted the lawmen. So I distracted the lawmen, and then I evaded the lawmen, and I wound up here. I mean, you must have taken a scenic route. Might, okay, I might have had a little help from Hive, but, you know... You know, oh, don't mention my name to Hive. I thought it was like, he wants to kill me, not, <clears throat> I know them and they're kind of a friend, but kind of not. I mean, they're, they are kind of a friend, kind of not. I just, I want to leave, I've already left a lot of footprints on this planet. I don't want to leave anymore. You know, so even the people I like, I don't want them to know I'm here. I just want to get the money from the race, get the drift core, and get as far away from here as possible. Eggs on it. Wait. Okay. Sky, your name is Sky. Yeah? Like Hive's name is Hive. Maybe. We'll get back on the ship very quickly. No worries. This guy's just quiet from that point on. <laughs> we... It's on, like, let's just have this right. <laughs> Sorry, I just clicked back to the, to the call. <laughs> we are actually... Cool! <laughs> I tell you what. We're actually going to go to break there. Oh, as that happens. God. Yeah! <laughs> I need a minute. Yeah, I thought cutting over to you might not might not be the best. Now we're going to go to break. Beautiful, wonderful gamers, thank you so much for uh, coming along. I appreciate it. We're going to take like a cheeky little, just like five, ten minute break. Um, go, go have a try. Go to the loo, go grab some snacks. And we're going to cut back in. We're going to see what Snake. Theory and Sky are going to be up to. My name's Ike. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> see, now I need a break. I, I can't even remember too. my own players' names. Okay. Bye, for you, people. We'll see you in like 10 minutes. Bye.
one. Oh, it's oh, it's the gang. Oh, bloody hell! Look at this all. Um, gamers, welcome on back to the Adamless episode seven. It's us. It's episode seven. I'm not going to do a previously on. I was thinking about doing a previously on. That's why it took me so long to do the thing. It's fine. We're just going to jump right back in. Ike, Theriac. You. Tell you what, I, I can. I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you 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 a choice. Now Sky did text saying, "I'm gonna be at Jajon's, the hot dog place." Would you like to receive this text as you get to the foot of the the ladder, which leads to the pipe, that leads to the vent, that leads to the sewer, that leads to the upper decks? Or would you like to get it when you've already appeared at the upper decks? You've just gotten out, like, lifted up the manhole cover. As soon as you do that, a signal on both your phones. I think narratively, it's more fun if we don't get in until we're all the way up. Nice. Good. Beautiful. <clears throat> you lift... Uh, you lift the, the the manhole cover. As soon as you do, the red son of Aesir welcomes you back to the beautiful upper decks. There is some bird song. The rain is no longer uh, can no longer really be heard. And both you get a on your phones as you preach it. I responds. We won the race! Exclamation point. Going to get our money now. Way more school for the young and gifted. And I share my location with the group chat. Do you the Sky is um both of you still in uh, Tohib's car get a da ding da ding on your phone as this message comes through. Meet you at the ship. Send. They're going to wait. What was it? Wait, wait, wait. Waymorts. 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 Yeah, Waymorts School Morts. for the young yeah. and and gifted. Uh, just tell them we'll meet them at the school. At uh, the school? Yeah. Okay, you hey, tell a driver. Face? Slug face, take a, take a left up here, a right after <laughs> that, and then it's the building with the red doors. Um, Tohib, who is a full, who is a human, but with like some augmentations on them, is like, oh, well, I appreciate it, but no slug here. Uh, but yes, I will do as you say. Do you want to? slug, sorry. No, it's okay. No, I appreciate it. There's a lot of people in in Jadon that are that are slugged. You you don't want to go to. You don't think that our hot dog pickup is at uh. Is it scrapyard anymore? Uh, there's plenty of hot dogs at Waymorth. Fucking, what's the name of it? It's, it's Waymorth. Way Waymorths. Way Waymorths. Okay. Waymorths. Yes. Waymorths. Got it. Waymorths. There's Waymorths. There you go. You think of it like that. Um, but wait, there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Um, My brain just stopped working. <laughs> see you at school. Send. And I accidentally type see you at skull. <laughs> nice. Cool. I type back here. a series of question marks. Theoriac will also type out a series of question marks. <laughs> Both of you have your phones. You're outside of the. Uh, you're outside They're of the just thing. Walking next you're to both each like, other. What's that? What the hell? <laughs> um. Before we get close to Waymorth School, can I? Can I just kind of look it up? Just see. I don't know if yeah. I have been here before oh absolutely um you almost definitely wouldn't have um mm -hmm. a really quick 
cursory, uh, like, uh, search engine, engine search, uh, brings up, um, way more school for the young and gifted is an extremely prestigious, uh, school. They have a, an exception, uh, exception rate to uh, some of the big businesses by like almost like 70 percent is it's it's very good they they boast state-of-the-art facilities it is a boarding school so people go there normally to stay but there are a few like outside they they come in and they teach and learn there um yeah, it's 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 very it's it seems like a a very. Uh, it's just it's it's it on the on the face from their website. It's a it's a good it's a good place to be. All right. Well, it 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 doesn't seem seedy. Maybe the person just likes to do business in a place where people are less likely to steal from them. I suppose, um, uh, also at this point, the Rick has not taken off their, their yeah. terrarium. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how adept are you at negotiations and diplomacy? I I can be good at it. I've I'm I'm all right. I just want to know because I most likely will not be speaking mm -hmm. during this. Um, and uh, just haven't seen you strike a deal before, I suppose. Oh, well, um, I, I, I do, actually. That's kind of what I do um, for work. I don't know that I'm good at it, but I do it successfully most of the time. You do not have to talk. Okay. I will, I will restrain myself as I can. I'm not sure I have much to input in the first place, seeing as I did not really participate in the race much, besides what I contributed. Um, Which was quite a lot, actually. It... I don't think that I'd be anywhere negotiating anything if you had not participated. Shot them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. But I'm here now, and so are you, and I just... I think that this is going to be totally fine, but I didn't want to be totally alone. That's all. Right. Right. <laughs> well, let's go get this bag. Strike a deal. I just heard some younger employees say it. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
it takes you a little while. You have to. Mm. You have to catch a bus, or just some form of public transport, like a tram, uh, to mm -hmm. get to uh, Waymore. You can see it, even a few streets away. It is this very classic-looking academy-style boarding school. There are these, like, beautiful spires and this huge courtyard that has a bunch of children to, like, uh, early to late teens, like, the full spectrum. Some being the youngest, about, about like, 12 uh, going up to... Uh, what you can assume is like 19, 20 ish. There are a lot of faculty members who are walking about with these nice little tweed jackets, races of all types, um, well dressed, seemingly whatever their um, whatever they hail from, they are and and whatever their like species is, they are manicured for that species. It's a very suburban road as you get off the public transport, this tram, and have to walk down it. As it's coming into view, there is the, a chain-link fence that surrounds this red, red and black uh, stone brick uh, academy. As you are walking toward it, um, and because of the like suburban nature, you pass by like a few small, smaller shops, just little convenience stores, as well as Theriac. You spot a church as you're walking toward the school. More modern than the school is with the new build of the upper decks like even when you walk the stone has a hollow ring to it as you can at sometimes better than others you can hear the the like metal ding of the 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 plate that you're walking on um as if to remind you like where you're stood and although the 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 weymouth school is betraying that trying to look at a look like a time that's longer long gone this church seems to be embracing more of a modern look but even so it has allowed plants and vines to grow and thrive around it there are some people walking in and out there is a sign that talks about the service that is taking place at, at some point in the next few days and yeah and you're on that road uh theory act is like walking along and just noting like some of the kids and their parents that are nearby the school itself and then looks over to the church and kind of like stops dead in their tracks you all right hmm you all right oh um yeah um just wow uh, i've never seen one of these outside of Oh, I've never been inside, but I, I hear they're quite nice. I hope they are. Um, Would you want to see it? I, I'm not certain that's a high priority <laughs> no I... no eventually maybe one day i do not today but thank you for being courteous um 
we just... I, I'm not certain we'll even be here for much longer, so... No! Don't say that! You... I mean... I... It, it, these are... These are... These are criminals. These are... And like... Yes, you do cargo, but these are like next level, and and I still have to get back to Idun, and you will. You're going to get back to Idun for whatever it is, and we will all be traveling there on the patchwork in no time. This is just a little thing we do first and we are going to survive. Right. Survival. Um, mm -hmm. I appreciate the offer. We will see if they have buildings like this elsewhere. I'm sure we will. I think Theoreac just takes one more look at the building, just kind of like seeing it again, because Theoreac knows what the building they've seen looks like back home. Yeah. And understands like the similar structure and architecture and like the symbols that are plastered of like different elements of photo but it's still just so awestruck by like a different culture taking that mm. building and putting it in their own like culture and how they manufacture things um so it's like just the like same one... puzzle piece but in a different puzzle right mm. and takes one last look and just all right, we are here to do business. Right? Exactly. Right. That's Let's... it. Just going to get paid. That's all. Yep. Let's 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 move forward. <clears throat> I guess just gonna walk in the building. Yeah, you get to the gates. the 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 front door is is just ahead of you. You need a small walk through a small form of courtyard. It's only a few meters, but. Yeah, if you just you're striding in, people don't really seem to pay much mind. People come and go in this place all the time. It's a school, you know. Yeah. You get to uh, you get inside past these uh, mixture of wood and glass, uh, like porch doors. So it's like you walk in, and the the like main front doors are already open, but then you have to walk past that like other, you know, the other set of doors that is in the building as you breach in it although looks on the inside similar to the outside a it's it looks like it's trying to look classic but there are these pulsing lines going like feeding all down the hall and all like over corners and around there are these automated bots sweeping up doing small movements down halls and as you take a step in although there doesn't seem to be any reception this line that you walk to flickers and there's a light that pulls down and there is an image a hologram of what looks like a large uh like old kind of uh crt monitor with a like a little friendly face on the front 
A little smiling, like two two dots and a, and a smile. Hi! How can Hi. I help you? Hi! My name is Ike, and I'm here. Um, I, I have to uh, speak with someone. Uh, ah! Wonderful. It is good to meet you, Ike. And you are? This is a friend of mine. Um, but the business here is really mine. Okay. What business can I help you with? Who are you looking for? I have to speak with school. There is a small... of recognition. Ah! Please proceed to the main hall. Before you walk into the building, though, everyone does need a visitor's pass. So, I would briefly like your name and to take a small photo. Hey, out of character real quick. <laughs> They'll kill us if we're not part of their gang, right? Like, or at me? least we'll try to. Are you asking me? Yeah. I think. Did, did um, we have some indication that they would kill us if... They, they would be very so upset. They... So from what you know, without having mm -hmm. to make any form of rolls or anything, they simply weren't planning on anyone who wasn't a member of Void joining, uh, winning this race. That wasn't pre-planned. Track, who spoke to, seeming to wish you good luck, but if the intent was to immediately kill you, he would have just done it there. Because mm -hmm. it would have been easier that way. Tommy also, although they weren't super well informed on the whole situation, they did say that if you win, they kind of have to give you the money. Because yeah, you've won. Yeah, that I remember. Okay. There, There is a unspoken... I mean, obviously, I mean, it's a spoken thing of if you win, you get the money. But there is a a social standing that, although they didn't intend for you to win, you did still win. I'm not going to say that it is going to be... I'm not I'm not going to say that Theriac's worries are unfounded. Mm -hmm. Because it... You still get that, mm, this is a bad... This is bad. This is a, still a bad situation. And you can, can leave. If you'd like. I would like to say, oh, um, I want to ask, what is your name? We should meet in the hall. Can I take your picture for the visitor's pass? I would love it if you took our picture. You're doing such a good job at this. What a wonderful, wonderful machine you are. And I, can I ca use my computer skill to try to befriend the, <laughs> the you, CRTV? You absolutely <laughs> can, yes. Uh, you can roll me a computer's check and roll your charisma you add your charisma to it add your charisma bonus to the computer's roll god is <laughs> just the best oh my god okay so that is a uh a, a dirty 53 20. oh no, beautiful dirty 20. <laughs> I, I rolled pretty low so they seem they see the this seeming ai for uh uh, for um, Waymoths seems friendly towards you. Thank you. Um, yeah, we'll be ready to to, to take uh, a picture real quick. And I try so hard to convey to Theriac in a series of facial expressions. Uh, 
<laughs> that I have a plan and that they should just say any name. I think the expressions would look something like... <laughs> you could have done literally any facial expression and it would have conveyed the same amount of message that you did. <laughs> Because at the cut, at the minute you are doing a John Cena's "You Can't See Me." <laughs> I think theory I will see that and just go. What? <laughs> well, tell it your your name, your very real name. My name is Smallpox. Good. And as the picture is about to be taken, I would like to cast Dancing Lights to put a blur uh, of like Ooh. light over Theriac's face to so obscure them just a little. This CRT, this holographic CRT monitor. Um almost like 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 falls back down the hall a little bit these two uh hands come round and there is a high holographic camera smile <laughs> please uh, then they they move back up and they move off to the side uh, to a wall where one of these arms like rests against it uh please take your passes and out of the wall, these two, like, like Polaroid almost pictures come out. One with Ig. you said your name, correct? You said your yes, name. Yes, I say, I say Ig, my real name and I pose. With your picture on it. And it says visitors mm -hmm. pass. And one saying smallpox. And it looks like camera bleed on, uh, on the picture. The holograph moves back. All you need to do is follow this line. And a line, the, the line on the floor, it, although this blue pulsing turns into red. And then follow this line and you will get to the main hall where all our performances are. Once you get there, you'll meet the person you're supposed to meet. Have a wonderful day. You too. Goodbye. And it kind We're of like rubber hose work. like goes up, but there's a there's like a hat a, like a little thumbs up that stretches then <laughs> is pulled into the into the top of the ceiling. Shall we? Yes. You're doing great. This is absolutely going to work out. I just I thought I had a better name than Smallpox. I thought it's quite scary. You could be quite th threatening with that name. What's scarier than the plague? It's quite lethal without it's... antibiotics. Exactly. I would be quite intimidated if someone named Smallpox was after me. I'd consider using that if you ever need to be scary. Let's no? not let's not go there. <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> All right. Are you wandering down the halls? Mm-hmm. Or follow the line. Can both of you give me a perception check? Please. Yeah. I love rolling in my dice games. <laughs> it's my favorite. That's not a d20. Oh, there it is. Look. Wow. 11. A dirty 20. Oh, so thank proud. God. Yeah? What'd you get? Mine was only 11. Okay. As you're walking down, it's a normal school. There's not much weird about it. A few kids sit on benches outside of classrooms. You walk past people giving 
talks and, and, and classes and lessons, a few doors open and the kids like walk out to go wherever it's the bathroom or wherever it is. You also all, both rather, walk past the teacher's lounge. They're all sat having a conversation. But Theoretic, you clock as you pass. The conversation stops. And you briefly look over your shoulder to see about six. The six people that are in the room looking out the window at you. And as soon as you look over your shoulder and you see these six people staring at you. They all go back to talking amongst themselves. Cool. You... As you as you walk toward the hall, you see a a small sign just designating where it is. It's got a small trophy case at the side, different awards and, and things that kids have won. And you see a teacher walking who's clearly a faculty member walking not toward you but uh well toward you but doesn't seem to be like is walking toward you but not at you is just walking yes. in your general direction coming from uh the right down the hall from a seemingly just unmarked room which in a school could be literally anything as you the pair of you arrive at these two large double doors which lead on into this main hall stand you you can just let him walk past if you want i i don't see a reason to stop them no You just stood outside. You can just walk into the main hall if you want. Yeah. I go. Theoret gives a little... We are doing it. It's good. We're doing it. Mm. Rows of... chairs already laid out lead you down this hall to a large uh, assembly stage, one which might be used for plays in the winter and when the drama group decide to do them. Large red curtains are shoved off to the side and there is just one podium with a microphone. There are random school accolades around the hall, but it has that same cold that school assembly halls have. As you walk about halfway down, these bright lights that have that are currently lighting up the way and the windows that you can see the sky if you if you look out, all of the lights seem to dim slightly. And from the podium a blue light lights up and this CRT monitor fills up the entire stage huge meters and meters and meters long reaching all the way up almost to the roof the face is no longer these two dots and this one smile it shows a slightly more neutral expression why have you come to see me I assume it's because you won this race are you the ones that's... I've heard about that's correct I won the race congratulations I as they say your name their face changes to the full picture of yours that they just took this clear, crisp, undeniable picture of you. I must admit, 
You winning this was not in my programming. I unfortunately have not judged the variables of you winning this, so I'm unsure how to proceed. Oh, well, I think I can help with that. There was a um, financial prize to winning the race, and I'm here to simply collect it and be on my way. I don't want to cause you any trouble at all. I am sorry that I tripped over your programming. Hmm. It is in the law that you did win this race. Therefore, you are deserving of the credits that were offered. However, you have already been, as you put it, a bit of a bother. There is a whirring noise. And then the the podium shifts and moves slightly down and falls into the stage. And then a small platform raises up, angled to face the pair of you as there is a cred stick on this podium. Well... I do again apologize for any inconvenience. Um, I simply... I didn't mean to be a bother by winning, I just did. That is true. And when it comes to matters like this, well, the best person does win. And it seems like they did. Well, I have tried you. to contact outside to wonder how best to proceed. But unfortunately, I cannot seem to reach anyone off of this planet. So, cool. I will just proceed as planned. Your creds are here. Well, thank you. Um, and I will go and cautiously take the credit stick it's just you just be able to pick it up yeah put it in my pocket i say i'm so sorry that you're unable to reach outside do you need any assistance do you need us to get a message to anyone if you come across nebula and the far travelers please hand yourself into them and let them deal with you you know what I absolutely promise that if I come across them, I will do exactly that. Okay. You've done a great job. Thank you. Um, and <clears throat> I would like... Oh, the react? Uh, I'm terribly sorry. Um, did you say that you did not account for certain variables in your predictive analysis? I did not. We had numerous fail-safes in the way. We had numerous fail-safes. Um... I was aware of a combustible device planted at the end uh, and went to check, and it had already been dismantled before the for the end of the race.
Should I roll anything? <laughs> yes. Roll me a bluff. Yes. <laughs> Excited about that? Yeah, I got pretty good bluff. <laughs> <laughs> I got 24. Yeah! Jesus, Lord. Hmm. A screen... The screen of the CRT changes again. It is seemingly security footage from the skyscraper building across from the main square where the finish line was. It plays as you watch these three void members placing the bomb down and then you Theriac and Azam pull up get out and Theriac you immediately pull a gun and shoot the first person with the bomb it then fasts forward to you knelt at the finish line post but it's obscured of what you're doing and then flicks to another angle where you're also obscured hmm I can see here that you did look at the device but I am not sure if you tinkered with it at all thank you for this information I'll be sure to pass it on to my superiors. Thank you so much. Oh, can I ask you something? The smaller seat TV. Are yes. you the same or are you just colleagues? I am school. I am the whole school. I run this establishment. Very good. Well, it's a fine establishment. Great ratings. We make the best. The future generation. Well, thank you for all your help today. Have a nice day. You as well. The I... lights and flick back to their normal brightness. The outside also seems to relay the same light as earlier as the as school and seems to fall back into the stage. The small pedestal that you pick the cred stick from lowers and then a the podium re-raises. I pocket the credits, I nudge the Uriac, and start heading the way we came, and I look for that smaller CTV. You yeah, I won't have you roll for it since you can kind of feel... Actually, you know what? I'll give you this anyway, but it depends on information. Can you roll me a computers? Mm-hmm. Uh, 21. You can feel... a consistent tether and thread through mm -hmm. every line that skirts and f falls through this hallway 
you can easily, if you wanted, no, you just know that you can contact this smaller CRT, but through just knowledge of this thread, you can tell that they are all, it is all the same AI connected. That is what I'm, the school. what I'm hoping for. Um, a member of staff, a faculty member, opens a door and, not paying you any mind, seemingly walks past you. But as they do, this connection to the threads, you can feel it pulsing from them slightly. Not the same as this on the ground or connected through this school, but this... portly dung beetle looking Sheeran there is this pulse coming from them as they open the door and walk past you That's, there you go you can continue on doing I whatever you want uh, I find the CRTV mm -hmm. it's on like you can call it wherever you want so yeah. you can just call it in the middle of the hall if you would like. Hi, friend. Hi. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nice to see you again. Uh, yes. Just one little quick thing. Um, would you mind? Um, that footage, is it really very important? Do you really need it? Seems like a waste of good storage. I have multiple billion terabytes of storage. A few simple pieces of footage doesn't do me that much harm. Can I ask you, have you ever heard of a game called Ynet? I have. I have caught 256 children playing Ynet. Well, have you played? I have no need to play video games. Hardly anyone has a need to play video games, but I hear it's quite fun. I'm sure it is. Well, I think it would be fun if you just replace some of that footage with, I don't know, 400 open servers on Ynet. And I, I, I would like, I would like to... <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, let's turn this whole <laughs> school into a LAN party. Let's rock. <laughs> <Get this. laughs> what <laughs> is happening? <laughs> that is my... Um, that is what I'm trying to do here. Yes, correct. <laughs> um. <laughs> I want everyone to know... <laughs> When I conceptualized this game, I did not realize it was going to be used to delete footage of myself murdering someone that has been stored inside of an educational facility's no. uh, How could you? artificial intelligence so that it could instead be replaced by 400 <laughs> servers <laughs> of a, an online game. That is too many servers. Or maybe not enough. I'm not really sure. <laughs> well, I... I mean, how could you predict this? I don't think anyone could predict this. I... <laughs> I also like that it's 400 servers. So it's like you said, can you replace this one gig of footage with 300 terabytes, please? <laughs> I doesn't understand computers on like a technical physical level. She's just friends with them. <laughs> They're 
<laughs> it's your computer skill just like I like computers. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, like Ike doesn't amazing. like computers. She just likes them. I like nice. them. I think they're neat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Dylan, what do you want from me, dude? I, is- I, <laughs> I'm trying to use my my computer skill to to uh to convince the computer that this is a really good idea. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love I love the bit. I love the bit. I'm gonna allow you to roll this because it would be hysterical. I would say it's quite a high DC. Because it okay. is, it is a hyper intelligent AI, and you're all you're already hostile to it, or rather, what? it's host it's hostile to you, not okay. you're hostile to it. It's hostile to you, as much as an AI can be. It understands that doing this would be a bad thing. I'm gonna say because I know that your computers is absolutely obnoxious. Okay. I'm gonna say we're level three now, right, gamers? Okay, so it's quite high. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say twenty-seven. So I have to roll on the die an eighteen. Oh boy. Is there any way I can assist? Um I do have my game console with me. (laughs) <laughs> fucking hell okay so I'm gonna let Theriac first things first I'm gonna let sure. you roll the computers me roll the computers you roll the sure. computers if you get over 20 I'm going to let Dylan roll with advantage here in okay, this great. fucking little roll <laughs> <laughs> No, that's okay, but it's okay. It's all right. You you fought amicably. I am being a butt in this okay. little <laughs> this situation. No, you're being so I fine. Simply, I'm really. I'm just terrified of the education system. That's all it is. That's all. <laughs> I forget which one of you has been a dick to me today. I am on. I am on the edge of my seat. I, I am, am so. Science, Dylan, science says it doesn't matter. They're both dice. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> <sighs> Ugh. No. Oh. No. It is a twenty-three. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, if you had said 400 servers, <laughs> it was like if you three. said 200, yeah. <laughs> that would not be beneficial for me. All right. Goodbye. Thank you for the offer, though. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goes back upstairs. <laughs> or rather, into the into the into the wall, not upstairs. It goes into the into the room. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you find that alarming? I find it extremely alarming. I want to find out what this nebula's about. Nebula and, and the rocketeers. Are... <laughs> the far travelers. Nebula and the far travelers. We should be safe as long as it can't contact them, but I think we should find out why. So that maybe we can keep it that way. I propose a research grant. A research grant? A proposition, rather. There's no money needed. Explain. Uh, We, to the best of our ability, Uncover as much as we can about Nebula and the Far Travelers. Mm-hmm. Uh, ideally, not alarming them to any of our 
research. Of course. And, um... I would really love that footage destroyed. I would too. Um, I think that would be perhaps the crux of our research. Um, because I don't know if you know this. There's not a lot of people like me out here in this system. So, right. You're the first one I've met. Yes. So... You know. I, I I get it. Well, that will be our top priority, then. Whenever we come across somewhere or someone that has some connection to this affiliation, we will do our best to try and scrub the records. I think that's a very fair plan. Research. Speaking of research, I, um, as we walk hastily, I assume, out of this yes. building uh, and back towards the entrance to the lower decks, um, I want to just confirm the, the credit stick when I do the transfer. Does it work? And is it what mm -hmm. I expected it to be? Yep. You... Um, yeah, cred sticks are pretty much a, just, like, almost a USB that you, like, plug into a right. device that has your account on it, and you plug it in, and your bank account goes from whatever it is, and it, as, like, numbers and numbers and numbers and numbers and numbers are, like, put on it, and then whatever you had before plus 100,000 is on it. Okay. Um, I do that. And then um, I say I owe you a fair bit of money. You for, for what? Well, you're going to be the genius who figures out what that crystal is. Oh, yes, the, um, the, the study you wanted me to conduct on the crystal. Mm-hmm. What, what was its name? You gave it? Spot. Spot, yes. Um, I think, ideally I would conduct it as soon as we got back to the patchwork. However, much of my study has made me realize that I am going to need far more complicated technologies and devices in order to continue studying this particular specimen. Oh. Um, so perhaps pocket your credits for now, and I could probably give you a better estimate of what would be more appropriate. Okay. Well, anyhow, um... This is getting split up, isn't it? So. Oh, between uh, the five of us? I believe so. It would be myself, you, Tom, Sky, Scrap. Yes? That's everyone? That's everyone I know of. Might as well send it. Uh, is there... You know what? Actually... Is... Do you think it might be safer to wait until we're off of Saga? Considering everything? Maybe. Um, but... You know what? Maybe Sky knows something about all this. Perhaps. I mean, she is a local, after all. She'd probably know this place. Better, These people. Better than I know my own laboratory. Hmm. 
All right, let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, so I know you were saying get to the uh, entrance of the lower decks, but I hope you don't mind if sure. um, we cut to Azam, Sky, and Toheeb, who is driving. Absolutely. As since they stated that they were going to... I think they text you saying they were going to meet you outside of this school. Got a text said, that said, meet you at Skull. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Was that ever confirmed? Was it the question marks? <laughs> I did reply back, Ghoul. Sorry. Zom isn't very equi- like talkative on text. Right. It's very short. <laughs> More like a like a telegram than a than a smartphone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine like your terse grandfather speaking to you on text. Like Beautiful. he doesn't understand why you couldn't have just called him. What a wonderful. And frankly, image. he's kind of disappointed. <laughs> but he'll try his best. And frankly, all these keys are. What is autocorrect doing? Why is the computer trying to interpret his words? He's good enough to do it himself. That kind of energy. <laughs> um. But regardless, you were sent the message, right? You sent that message of school. Is this what Theorek and I, are you like privy to this information? Are you going to actually just head off to the entrance or will you wait? Oh, okay. If we are able to figure out that they're headed here, then yeah. um, we'll just try to lay low a little. Uh, well, if you don't mind, as if I can take some liberties, I uh, imagine that the conversation you just had was like as you were navigating through the school's halls and getting to outside. Yeah. Um, Azamsuke, you. After you state that you're going to the upper decks, Toby, like, oh, right, okay, sure. Um, pulls over after a few streets, gets out, hustles you into, like, a, another car that is in the same car park just near them that they also seem to have a key for. Uh, but this car, as it starts up, it. And then hovers slightly off the ground. They take off out of the car park and ride the smog road out to the upper decks. And they drive to the road of the uh, of, of Weymouths. I have no idea why you'd want to come here, but yeah, if you uh, if this is where you want to go, there you are. It's just down the street. Up with some friends. Okay, sure thing. Uh, Thanks for the hot dog beer. Of course. Hey, listen, we do the best hot, best uh, hot dog beer in the lower decks. So if you ever want one of those, uh, another one at least, you uh, make sure to come on by. Don't be a stranger. Pause. Did 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 Matt did. and and Momo turn to <gasps> robots for anyone they else? Did robots. I? Oh no! That's my crappy connection. I apologize. Okay, okay. Good. Are we good? On the plus side, your local recording should have it. Yeah, our local recording mm. will have it. Um. Yeah. Uh. Oh, where were we? Um. Yeah, I don't know why you'd wanna. Uh. Oh yeah. Whenever you wanna, whenever you want a hot dog beer, feel free to come on down. We do the best in all the lower decks. So I hope to see you again. Don't be a stranger. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. Um. You can just, you should get out of the car. As both of you do, you stand on this real clean um, street with this photo church next to you and, and Wayworth's is just ahead. So, we just wait out front for them? Or... Well, either that or charge into a big void hive. No pun intended. Wait out for, I mean, I wanted to meet up with them because I thought that this might be a little bit more dangerous than the appearance lets on. I'm sure if it was uh, shots, we'd hear him from outside. 
Furiak oh, I'm not so I... sure. The The walls are pretty thick in there. I'm just gonna text him and say that we're outside. You send the text. This um, would be around the same time as Eigen Theriac. You were in the main hall talking to um, talking to school, but you your phones didn't buzz and you didn't seem to get any form of message until we'd reach like up to the same like timeline. So until you left like walked outside you seem to have no signal on your on your phones okay can i make note of that somehow like if i pull out my phone will i notice yeah. that yeah it would okay. say like <clears throat> message from like half an hour ago even though you just okay. received it on your phone so yeah you can easily make a note got of it that. um uh... <laughs> no i as soon as i see that i run out the rest of the way of the building nice. um and look for familiar faces you see him i'm just holding like my my uh my rib cage you, you have any skin to oh hey uh hello hey. <laughs> do you have any spare skin going skin um, tape is what he was gonna say <laughs> but he got cut off uh the all of the children seem to have like uh at the actually as you as um theory i can i you leave the bell uh, the school bell rings and all of the children start like filtering inside behind you um as well as some teachers as, oh i mean all the teachers you get a i you still have that like pulse sense and not all of the teachers give you the same pulse but some of them do a majority of them do I really don't like that. Hmm? I, I will explain maybe on the patchwork. You two are uh, right. You, yeah. We should probably get back to the patchwork. I think so. Yeah, I feel like Azam could use some patching up. Oh, I'm I'm fine. I've been. Through. Oh, just, oh no! Hey, you don't look hold fine. On. Hold on, hold on, one moment. Um, <laughs> uh, Thirak is gonna grab uh something out of their inventory. Uh, I believe this chemalizer. Uh, oh wait, no, that is not correct. I do have a med kit though. Nice. Um, can I use this med kit? To patch up Azano. Oh, what does what does a med kit do in Star? Hold on, med kit. The Dark. basic med kit has spray, antiseptic, bandages, and held handheld instruments designed to examine, explore, and treat common ailments. This basic med kit allows you to attempt DC twenty five medicine checks to treat deadly wounds. Hmm. It's not deadly wounds. I would imagine deadly wounds are like zero hp deadly but you can you can use the med kit to patch his arm up all day absolutely no question you're smart enough to be able to do that like no rolls needed you can just um patch him up i am a scientist you are a scientist you know the you know bodies yes um I mean, theory x is scientist for like killer bees and, and zombie yeah, are you, like, essentially a vet <laughs> uh, humanoids uh, oozes uh, uh, eldritch beings all it's somewhat similar it's, it, it's all just a matter of rewiring and in how, different chemical compositions in what and... way is someone like me similar to an eldritch being Oh, you know, sentience and all that nonsense all the philosophers like to talk about. And is just going through and uh, stitching up and taping up and uh, just bandit just giving you all the bandages. Are you for you doing this outside of the school? No. Okay. I would like to say I would wait until we are back in the vehicle. Oh, wonderful. You Yes, 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 yes. We okay, have a before, 
Oh, yeah, do we have a vehicle? Do we have a vehicle still? Well, Tohi would have, like, delivered you to where you need to go, and then mm -hmm. turned around and, and left. But if you, ah. like, hailed in a, oh, can we get can my friends come as well? We need to lift back. We ask really nicely. Before we head into the presumed vehicle, Sky is going to take one look at the school, exhale, and then turn around, leave. Have you ever been in there before? Yeah. It's a school. I. She's well a child. We have schools down in the lower decks too. I was just wondering. Where we yeah. I haven't. School for young and gifted. And I point to Sky. Young also. And gifted. gifted. Well I guess I'm very curious if it was the same just now as when you were there. I have a feeling that it'll never change. Let's go. So, okay. Oh. All right. Uh, Toheeb like opens the door. Yeah. So I'm. I'm. I. Pr it's fine. You all come in. I'm not a cab, and we do need to go. So. I'm so sorry, but we would be stranded here. <laughs> No, yeah, I please, gathered. Please help us. You said you wanted to go to to the scrapyard, and then you said you wanted to go to the school, and I saw no cars here. I imagined it's okay. Don't worry. Just get back. I thought in. we would be going in with them and helping them with their situation, but I'm, we got here a little late. So could I'm you please? Terribly... I can pay you more. No, 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 no. Please, get you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm terribly sorry. I what, guess. What's your, what's your name? Mine. Um, Toheeb. 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 Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. No, of course. No, it's literally, it's literally no trouble. It's, it's, it's fine. Honest. A, f you know, friend of scraps. Who's a friend of a friend of someone who's a friend of someone who's a friend of scraps is a friend of mine. You're all okay. Don't you worry about it. Oh. You know, you know scrap. Tangentially. Like everybody knows scrap. A little bit. He gets around. He, um... I knew his kid, actually. Uh... Yeah. Oh, we... Yeah, Wait. um... His... His son. We, uh... Oh, we... Toby, Toby, We weren't supposed to know that. Eh. Oh, well, right, then you've... we won't. Right? Yeah, we're a crew that understands the nature of secrets, I think, and the importance of right, secrets yeah, sorry, that's, that's to any fault. individual, whether that be Scrap, or myself, or Ig, or Feriac. Or somebody else, maybe? <laughs> or Sky, obviously. Yeah. So then, if we're not supposed to know, then we don't know. I think I got hit I mean, on the head too many times. I mean, I'm just going to ask him, because maybe he just hasn't mentioned it. Mm. That's a fair point. I mean, they did leave off on great terms. Anyway, I'm not supposed to be speaking oh. about it. Okay. Right, let's get you, uh... Let's get you to the patchwork. The car... <laughs> takes off. Back down the smog road. And instead of changing this time, the the car that they were driving around the lower decks is is like a little smaller than this one. They just they they stop by just at the at at scrap scrapyard first. Right there you go. Uh, I hope that. I mean, I hope I see you again, but in kinder circumstances, that we don't need this. Thank you, dude. It's all good. Appreciate it. Here, keep keep change. I pull out a hun a hundred credits. You all get out, and you arrive at at Scrap Scrapyard. 
Tohib pulls the car and drives uh, off back down the roads into what you assume is a small car park to change the car around and go back to Jajon's. You're outside Scrap Scrapyard. What would you like to do? Win! Yeah? Um, you walk in and you see pretty quick because Sky, you know the like, you, you know the codes and how to get in. You know that it's like nigh and impossible to get into this place in particular without understanding the codes and how to work things. Um, Scrappers like had this place pretty fucking locked down and he knows how to set up like a good security system. But you know how to do it. You un unlock all the codes and you get past the robots and you say hi to some little mechs that are walking around half broken. And you see the patchwork, but it looks slightly different, as it's had a tiny, tiny bit of an upgrade. The front of it um, still has the the dome, uh, submarine-like that has that full 180 view. You see scrap on top of it. A blowtorch securing these securing the last little bit of these two folded wings that sit on top of the patchwork the at the center almost the small of the back where these two wings meet is the drift core that is encapsulated by this large metal see-through container the inside looks a little bit gutted as you see like the chairs that you had and the beds that you were sleeping on all outside um scrap notices you are fixing uh as as he's affixing these two uh these two giant wings onto the onto the top of the patchwork oh hey uh, it's looking great. Well, thank you very much. Uh, he slams uh, his hand on top of the uh, on top of the little drift core. Yeah, we've affixed the uh, the drift drives here. Uh, I didn't really know. Uh, I didn't really want any extra engines aboard, so I uh, stole th stole some ideas from the Valkyrie class ships. Uh, with the fact that they have wings that help them get through the drift, I thought it looked neat. Um, I also was wondering uh, if any of you wanted any form of upgrade or a little extra thing just for yourselves inside of the inside of the patchwork. I can get that sorted. I have a bunch of reference pictures. It shouldn't take me too long. I've pulled the chairs out just in case you wanted to bring the chairs back in, and I've pulled out the beds. But if you want like a slightly better sleeping area or a better kitchen, Theorek, if you wanted. I don't know. I know you're not staying with us very long, but if you wanted some form of lab, Sky, if you wanted a slightly better engine, I could get that sorted out for you. It shouldn't take me too long. And it looks like, like the you're end already, of the day. Looks like you already like added an alpha thing to that compressor, so like I'm happy. Yep. No, I figured you would be. Yeah, that was like basically my first port of call. Um, uh, I I'm personally okay with not having uh, any upgrades for, regarding me uh but i i would highly suggest as um as someone who has paraded through your uh pantries to uh allow yourselves um uh some better kitchenware and appliances so that you can yes give yourself proper nutrition uh that's true it's you very dangerous upgrade. uh in uh in space to not have um, vital nutrients and vitamins that need to uh, keep your body maintained and uh, working properly. So Yeah, yeah. Um, that's actually a great idea. It, it cost me like a couple of grand because, you know, you don't want to you don't want a uh, a fabricator from 
a scrapyard. So I went out and bought one. It's slightly upgraded. It can do basic meals, but it ba it's not sludge anymore. Um, and it does actual coffee. No, uh, human coffee as well, not Kalishtar, the thick goop. Um, it does actual actual coffee and some, I don't know, some weird earth stuff and basic meals. So, yes. That's a great start. It's something. Right. This is very fascinating, and I, I like Oh my enthusiasm god. And... Holy shit, are you okay? Jesus Christ, you're bleeding out of, like, ev oh my god, are you... <laughs> Scrap, like, I immediately gets off. Just fine. We'll I get, be okay. I... Proper surgery on board the ship. Holy shit. Okay, I sure. Just, are like, we... brushed Did my I... arm and flakes of, like, crust fall off. I'm gonna Did take the... a nap. Okay, did the race go okay? I, I assumed that you guys would be fine. We have a lot, um, we have a lot to discuss. Okay. Oh, hey, you're lot. looking at a you're looking at a death race champion over here. <sighs> Holy shit! Um, well, I, only because literally everyone helped. Um, otherwise, I I would not have only lost that race, but I'd be dead. Well, fuck! I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. I didn't think anyone could win that who won. Um, you know. Oh, that's true, by the way. But we have a hundred thousand credits to share. No, Holy shit. promised to Tommy. Whole reason for doing this. Who? Who? Hmm? I'm gonna... All the right. beds have been taken out of the of the right. patchwork, right? Yeah. I, so, I'll, I'll, I'll put them in. It won't take me long at all. Frederick it, it clicks does, and then a little Before light. you even have time... He just like sits down on one and immediately falls asleep. <laughs> this like that seems like a good idea. This like kind of muscled, almost gorilla looking uh robot comes over is like, Hey Fred, we're gonna need the things back on the ship. I know I just told you to get it, but apparently we're leaving. Sleeping, doing it, Theriac, you seem like you were in a rush. We should a... I I have a lot to update you about. Um I think we should go. We should probably go. If these upgrades are not too urgent. Okay, sure. Um, ah, fuck. Uh, Frederick, you can pick his arm up, right? <whistles> picks, like, picks up his arm with this, like, these two, like, big robotic gorilla arms and then kind of walks in, like, with the bed. Uh, Scrap, Scrap rushes in, pulls the, like, debris of chairs and and beds in and a few other things they're just strewn loose on the floor uh right i think for a little a time being till at least we're in the air we're just gonna have to fly with this is everyone okay we're just holding on to something oh okay oh, God. uh sure yeah you seem like <laughs> strong people uh flick on a, a light uh... and the ramp like <laughs> raises you hear the of of uh the engines as they as they light up like okay you're all holding on to something right yes all right good stuff back in the air we go and they hit the engines as it 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 raises up and then takes off immediately quick you're all pulled slightly as uh the patchwork takes off um and you're all in the air and after a, a while of noise and this thunderous fire from the engines there is a quiet as the chairs that have been flung to the back of of the patchwork just slowly start floating and you all re-arrive in deep space onto where it is you're gonna go next You want to say something? Because I was just about to say that's the end of our session. I do. Can I do something you very, very quick? I promise I would, it no, won't be very No, I would love long. it. Please finish okay. up the session. Let's go. Can I just... Um, I have my pass. Um, Theriac, do you still have your pass that we took? Oh. Uh, I believe so. Hold on. Um, which Did I have it? it uh, pulls it out of the little breast pocket. Uh, the one that says... Oh, that's a small box. That's the one. Here you go. Thank you. Um, just in case I can do anything more about this later. Um, oh. But thank you for coming with me. It's no problem. Sorry for... 
Well, I'm not sorry. You shouldn't be sorry. We got very vital information. We did, and we'll get more. I feel very certain of that. Good night, Theriac. I don't know, is it night time? <laughs> yeah, it's around night time. It's getting dark. Have, have, a, oh, have, a, nice, have, a, have a restful sleep. You as well. Uh, and I will go back to her little tunnel. Mm. And where she has on one side her like cut out magazine clippings of of her friends on the other side, she's gonna like stick them her and theory X passes <laughs> on the wall <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> And as I, so, as I <laughs> leans back, having stuck the two visitors' passes on the side of the wall, camera zooms out to the patchwork, now in deep space, flying on to its next little adventure. And that is where we're going to leave it today, gamers. Oh, Hooray, hey ho, Mo is literally falling asleep. It is 4am. Oh am. my god, Mama. I'm so sorry. Go to bed. Yeah, socials. We need to do socials. Momo, go. Socials. What are your socials, hon? My name is Momo O'Brien. I make content about immersive experiences. You can find me everywhere at Momo underscore (laughs) O'Brien. You can go now, babe. You can go. Hi, I'm uh, Super Dylan. I'm Super Dylan on the internet, and I make TTRPG content. Hi, I'm Andre Rivera. You can find me at Andre Rivera Art. I'm on a bunch of places, on a sh- bunch of shows. Uh, I, my commissions might be open. Uh, buy Boom. my art. Boom. Hi, TTRPG writer, cultural consultant, sensitivity consultant, and player over here. Sometimes I also stream on my own Twitch channel. Werewolf Feels, everywhere you can find it. I do some cool stuff. Go ahead, Matthew. And I am your GM for today. Uh, Matthew Mack with Captain Crail. I stream on the Captain Crail Twitch channel. There's this. The week after you're watching this is going to be the podcasted version, which is a more edited, curated version of it. It's very good. Go follow us all on socials. And gang, the next time that uh, our uh, the patchwork flies through the atomless sea, I hope you are there to fly with us. Thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye. There we go. I wanted everyone to do it. <laughs>